Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at a theorem in geometry known as the perpendicular bisector theorem. So we've talked about perpendicular bisector um, before in previous videos, we've even made a video about how to construct a perpendicular bisector. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can look in the top right hand corner right now. For this theorem it says, in a plane if a point lies on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So let's talk about perpendicular bisector for a minute kind of has two characteristics, right? Perpendicular and bisector. So perpendicular, we know, we need to have that right angle box there, right? The lines are intersecting at a 90 degree angle. And then the word bisector means that the line is going through the midpoint of the other line. So this point right here would be the midpoint, and we know that because we have these congruent tick marks right here. So a perpendicular bisector is going to do two things. It's gonna pass through at a 90 degree angle, and it's also going to split the segment that it's passing through into two congruent segments. All right, so what the theorem tells us is if a point is on this segment, so let's say this point up here at the top, we'll call it point A, um, then if it's on this perpendicular bisector, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. So if we put an endpoint here and an endpoint here, call this B and C, then we would say that these two segments here, A, B, and A, C, are also congruent, they have the same measure, okay? So we can use this theorem to answer some questions. So here we go, we have this diagram here. Um, it says find each measure. measure. It says um, DC is 15, find AD. So if we put 15 right here, well, we just saw the example of this theorem, so we would know that AD is also 15. Okay, so nice easy one there. All right, question two says AD equals 3X plus 14 and DC equals 5X minus six, find DC, okay? So we know that these two segments are equal to each other because they lie on the perpendicular bisector, the end point, right? Um, so we can set these two equations equal to each other. So 3X plus 14 equals 5X minus six. If I subtract 3X, we get 14 equals 2X minus six. We can add six to get 20 equals 2X and we divide by two and we get x equals 10, okay? So now we wanna find dc, so we're gonna plug 10 in right there. So we get five times 10 minus six, 50 minus six, and we get 44, okay? So we would say that d, let's do it right here, dc equals 44, okay? I'm gonna circle that one back on number one. All right, and the last question that we're gonna look at says ad, equals 41, um, AC equals 30, so let's see if we can draw this here, there we go, pretty good, AC equals 30, and DC equals 41. And they want us to find AB, which is just this segment right here. So really, we don't even need these lengths, right? Kind of irrelevant information, because if we understand the definition of a perpendicular bisector, then we know that these two segments are congruent to each other, right? So if the entire measure there is 30, then we know that AB is going to be half of that, so that will be 15, okay? And that is the perpendicular bisector theorem.